the backyard brawl, Pittsburgh at West Virginia. I'm so glad that this this game gets gets to get played this year and last year as well. That was an awesome game last year. What a way to start the year. Was that week mm-hmm. one? What a way to start the year on that Thursday night. What a way. That was a great game. And while the caliber of these teams has declined decently since then, uh, I mean, look, the line's at plus one right now. West Virginia plus one. We know it's going to be moved close to even on Caesars, by the way. It's moved it moved even it now? Even on Caesars. Oh, okay. But for the purpose of this well, show, well, we'll act like it's plus one, right? West Virginia at home. Look, I'm going to take the team that has a better offensive line, a better defensive line, and the quarterback that's playing better right now. And that team is West Virginia. Believe it or not, that team is West Virginia. You're damn right it is. That team is West Virginia right now. Gosh, Neil Brown is fighting for his life. This is a win that he needs, right? He needs it bad. West Virginia? Yeah, they've gotten C.J. Donaldson. He's gotten going in some games, but also they got some other boys in that backfield too that are cooking. Garrett Green has not been as bad as I thought he was going to be. Um, and I kind of like him. And Phil Dracovic, like he just does not look comfortable in the system at all. By 10 for 32. Goodness gracious. And here's the thing too. There are Pittsburgh fans out there that are actually calling for him to be benched, which is wild. Week two. I, he should not be benched. And Pat Narduzzi knows that. He's going to send out the quarterback that gives his team the best chance to win, and that is Phil Djokovic, right? His offensive line is not amazing. I think West Virginia just bullies this game, and it's at home. No wonder this line is moving as fast as it is, and I've been back and forth, like whether I want to make this an actual play on Dawson's Diner later, um, you know, for real money, but I I can't help but really – and Hudson Clement, how about a breakout game from him for West Virginia? How about that? West Virginia, you didn't think uh, you had a guy? Maybe maybe, maybe you got a guy, you know? I like that a lot. Uh, Pitt, I mean, Rodney Hammond, he's a great running back. Get him going, man. Try to get him going, Pitt. I don't know if you can against the defensive line. So feed me Neil Browns, West Virginia, Mountaineers at home to cover and obviously to win. I'm going to ride with you here. I, I... – West Virginia and a point. Obviously, I would rather. I, I just think if you gave me this line in the off season, I would have put my oh. mortgage on 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 Pittsburgh. Not that I have a mortgage, but whatever I can muster, I would have put it on Pittsburgh. And now the line is here, and I'm taking West Virginia, and that just shows how quickly things can change in two weeks. Phil, that that Cincinnati game, and we are not high on Cincinnati. This is not because I think Cincinnati is the dark horse in the Big Twelve. Uh, peace and love to 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 Scott Satterfield there and Emory Jones, um, who, who play, obviously had a really good game plan and executed it really well at Pittsburgh. But Phil Djurkovic was bad. Corey Kiner of Cincinnati ran all over them. Yeah, he had a 68-yard run, inflated his stats a little bit. But you're telling me Donaldson and, and the boys in West Virginia don't have the, the juice to do that as well? And the old line is, is something that we talked about was – your bright spot on the team was your old line. And they're going to lean into that. Like you said, if they get ahead in this game, look for them to really, really lean on, on, on Pittsburgh and Phil Jerk, which got to play catch up again for a second straight week. And he did not do very well against Cincinnati. They jumped on him and he was 10 for 32. Yeah. He had three touchdowns, no picks, but 10 for 32, 179 yards is not it is not it at all. Uh, they need Mumfield to step up. Obviously, Bartholomew, the tight end, you know, made a nice play. But ah, just the, really, really frustrated and upset with Pittsburgh's. Uh, if you're a Pittsburgh fan, you should be really frustrated because you're you could start one and two in a season where you should be three. Coming into the year, you were expecting to be three and zero, oh, and here you are fighting for your life to stay above five hundred um, already. But oh, isn't that great? See Neil Brown, you know. I mean, we thought he should have been fired a year ago, and the fact yeah. that he didn't get fired in the off season 
and he stuck around with him. Credit to to West Virginia. Now, who knows how their season is going to turn out? Um, but I was impressed with how they played Penn State, and Penn State's really good, really, really, really good. Um, and and like you mentioned, Hudson Clement who, who broke out well. Devin Carter's a guy that's there as well. Um, who I'm, I, we both really like. Uh, it's a nice one-two duo for them, and they got you know an interesting gadget guy in Rodney Rodney Gallagher, a true freshman guy, um, a tight end, you know Kobe Taylor. But yeah, Garrett Green. I mean, good for him. Good for him. I'm excited for him, and I think that defense will show up. Um, the Neil Brown defense team should should be pretty good. Beanie Bishop had a pick, you know, former yeah. Minnesota Gopher. Good for him. Yeah, he, he was kind of bad at, for Minnesota, I'll be honest. But but him and Anthony Wilson seem to be playing pretty well. So, yeah. yeah I will say, like, the the conglomerate of this secondary for West Virginia is not good. It's not. They have not looked good at all. But, I mean, this might be the worst West Virginia secondary since Geno Smith, Will Greer eras, West Virginia, right? But I don't think it matters. If Phil Dracovich is to end for 32 – um, against a team that, you know, has a good defense. But, like, if he's not able to actually find guys and if he's not comfortable in this offense and he's not comfortable in the pocket, I don't care what your secondary looks like. Throw out the junior high team out there in the secondary. See what happens. Don't actually do what that. Happened to, what happened to Phil Dracovich? Like, Dude. remember, like, a couple of years ago, he was a dark horse to be, like, first-round pick, blah, 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 like, yada, yada. And he got the transfer. He got away from Boston College and that dreadful O line. And I won't say it looks worse because it was pretty bad in Boston College, but it does not look better. And I know it's week two. I know it's a new system. But what? I think a lot of bad habits. Out. That's a lot of what bad I'm habits. saying. Did Jeff Boston Hathley. College ruin him? I think. I think so, man. I think so. Imagine like, like it, if. If he had gone to Kentucky the same way that Will Levis went to Kentucky, I think we would be having similar conversations about Phil Djokovic as we did with Will Levis. I think there's so much in terms of there. maybe not like in terms as of getting good of, out early. Yeah, yeah. I think you know maybe he's not as great of a arm talent as Will Levis is, but I, I think they bring similar similar skill set to the table. Yeah, I. I this is a great game. I, like you said, last year's was awesome. It's a nice rivalry. Um, this year West Virginia hosts it, which is it's a underratedly a pretty good atmosphere. I think for especially for big games, this will obviously they'll be going. It's the um, backyard brawl. Yeah, it's the backyard brawl. What are yeah. we doing? Lowest ticket right now, one hundred fifty bucks right now. I love that. I love that. that means that means it's an high. I love man. our I love our pick, baby. I love our pick. Yeah. 